obviously a herd of cutbacks, but this is bloody ridiculous. Let's begin. Now, of course, if you cast your mind back a little while, you might remember that one of Boris's pledges was to hire around 2,000 police officers, if I remember rightly. And also, whilst I've heard that they are apparently recruiting them, I didn't exactly think that it would be like this, because if this story from The Sun is anything to go by, they're actually reinventing the term plastic policeman. The article also says that a police force has started using cardboard cops in high-vis clothing, holding speed guns to try and stop motorists from driving too fast. Two of the life-size pop-up officers, nicknamed Bob, are to go on duty standing beside roadsides where motorists are regularly clock speeding. The first of the two-dimensional duo, which are understood to cost around £190 each, have been unveiled on the B4368 in Munslow, Shropshire. £190 each, and it looks a little bit like it come off an inkjet printer, doesn't it? Although, judging by the cost of printer ink nowadays, I guess they've probably got a bit of a bargain. Although, surely dressing a few mannequins up might have been a bit more cheaper. Anyway, West Mercer Police said the idea borrowed from Scotland is believed to be the first for an English force. Sergeant Damien Kelly, who is managing the trial, said, Keeping communities safe is one of our organisational priorities, and pop-up cops are simply an additional tool that we can use. We appreciate that motorists will quickly realise that Bob is a cutout, which is why we will be using him smartly and effectively alongside other speed prevention activities. Oh really? Well where's Bob going to pop up next then? A burglary? Or now a murder investigation? Or maybe, actually of course, he'll probably pop up at one of those eco-fuel protests. Because let's face it, you wouldn't really notice much difference, would you? Because most of the time, police seem to just stand there, don't they, and let the protesters do what they want, like in those BLM protests from a couple of years ago, as I'm sure you'll all remember. I mean, if I remember rightly, there was all sorts of things going on, wasn't there? With people setting fire to flags, tearing statues down, and even chucking one in the river. Or graffiti and nasty things on them. Although, I would like to think that the police will now start to hopefully realise that they are indeed the police, and stop things like that from happening. Either moving people along, or heaven forbid, you know, actually arresting someone for doing something like that. But then again, it unfortunately doesn't look they're really learning their lesson too well, because in this video you'll see how they handled some protesters from an immigration enforcement raid protest. Anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.